Hey guys, Crewman here. And if you are a follower of my channel, which I hope you are, and if not, welcome and stay for a while, forever please, you will know that I am a big fan of the 170HX. I think it is the best card to buy for mining, and it is currently the only card that I am buying for mining. But what you didn't, what you might not have known is there are actually two different versions. There is the 10 gigabit version and the 8 gigabit version. The only difference between the two is the 10 gigabit has a larger bus, as you can see here, and two more gigabit, gigabytes of VRAM. Now you would think that it is a no-brainer that the 10 gigabit model is better, and it costs more, and it has you know a higher bus and more memory. Well, you would actually be wrong. Thanks to the 8 gigabit model having a secret unlocked BIOS, which allows you to modify the core offset, whereas with the normal BIOS on both cards, you normally are only able to lock the core. You are able to actually get a better performance on the 8 gigabit and it will use less power due to the fact that you can modify the offset. Now, I was mistakenly sent a 10 gigabit model from my seller and she agreed obviously to take it back at no charge. She will pay for shipping both ways. It's fantastic customer service and it is one of the reasons that I recommend using the seller that I'm using. But since I have the 10 gigabit version on me for about 24 more hours before I send it back, let's just do a very brief hash rate test so you can see the difference in profitability and hash between the two. And then I'll give you some thoughts about why you should not get the 10 gigabit model at the end. So this video is sponsored by me, Crewman Tech and Mining. This is my channel. Please make sure you smash that like button and you hit that subscribe button for more crypto mining and GPU content as well as tech rumors, tech news, anything that I find interesting. My motto is that every gamer can be a miner when they find out their graphics cards can make the money and then every miner is usually a gamer so there's a lot of overlap between. So please go ahead and smash that like button and give my channel a follow and feel free to subscribe to the members only content. Once I get enough members, I will be doing an exclusive members only stream once a week where you guys can ask me questions. We can talk about whatever you want. I am here for you. So thanks again, guys. Please consider being a member of the channel and please make sure you sub. Okay, so here you can see my test bench. It's essentially just a random motherboard, some FX motherboard with my 10, with the 10 gigabit 170HX. And I asked for a fan mod so I could actually run some tests outside of a server case. And these fan mods work really, really well. It's just connected to an A pin, which is connected to my uh, server power supply. And I have a PMD on it so that I can get accurate power readings from the wall. So without further ado, let me show you the results. And I will be comparing the single 10 gigabit model or the five card eight gigabit rid that I have in my mining shed right now. Okay, so the first algorithm I wanted to test was Ergo. And you can see here the 170HX 10 gigabit and eight gigabit get about the same performance with the 10 gigabit slightly ahead, but it uses on average 75 more watts power and that is due to the lack of the offset. And here you can see the PMD with the Ergo numbers. It kind of fluctuates a little bit but it, it lands basically around 100 or 250 watts. So you could just see that to make sure that my numbers are accurate. I won't be showing this for all of them, but I just wanted to show that I tested the power numbers and I know the ones on my eight gigabit models are accurate because the OctoMiner correctly reports the power. And here is a closer up look at the 10 gigabit model. You can see the efficiency is 1.598 versus the 8 gigabit with the secret bot with the secret bios and you can see we're getting about 2.169 ish efficiency on average on the five cards so it really just comes down to the core offset and that's going to be something you're going to notice in the rest of the algorithms that we set that we test so now let's move on to kapow and we're going to be talking about core i will say that and if you watch my stream uh, yesterday, which I'll put a link down below, you might notice that Clore was actually an interesting outlier due to the larger uh, memory bus and the extra memory. Clore is about the same on the 8 gigabit with the secret BIOS and the 10 gigabit, even though you can't use the offset. Kapow was actually the only outlier in it. Whereas if you were buying these just to mine Kapow, and they certainly don't do bad at Kapow at all, it really doesn't matter if you buy the 10 gigabyte model or the 8 gigabit model. And here you can see the efficiency for the 8 gigabit model. The efficiency is about 270 on average. And if you look at the 10 gigabit model, it's about 256. So it's it's pretty close. It's not 
It's not that far off, and you don't notice as much of a difference in Kapow as you will with the other algorithms. Next, we'll move on to Zealous, and you can see right here, they get about the same hash, they get about mostly the same hash. The 10 gigabit model does slightly, slightly, slightly better. Uh, you're looking at about a, a 337 kilohash at 172 watts, give or take, because there's a tiny bit of fluctuation on Zealous hash, the algorithm, versus about on average about 332 330 to 332 kilohash at about 120 watts I'm, I'm just taking a rough average of the five but you can see right here that obviously the eight gigabit models are more efficient because of the core offset making them more profitable even though they do hash slightly less because they use quite a bit less power as you can see right here Comparing the efficiency, we see the efficiency for the 10 gigabit model is 1.977. And we see that the 8 gigabit models are between 2.5 to 2.8. So it's not even close on Zealous in terms of efficiency. And I would guess that that's due to, again, to the core offset, which is generally the theme you're going to see throughout this video. So next, let's move on to Ironfish. Now, Ironfish is by far the most profitable on the 170 HXs, so I will do a tiny bit more of a comparison on these. Now, one thing I do want to note is the 8 gigabit models average about 210, 210 watts for 127 mega hash, whereas the 10 gigabit models with the unlocked by without the modified BIOS are only getting about 102 to 103 at 178 watts. Now, if you look at efficiency on the 10 gigabit model, you'll see we're getting about 708. Whereas if we look at the eight gigabit models, you will see that we're getting about 571. So the 10 gigabit is actually a tiny bit more efficient. Now I can dial back these settings to make them a little bit more efficient, but I'm cranking out profit on these. What I wanna show you with iron specifically, because it is by far the most profitable one, is I wanna show you the difference in profitability from 10 gigabit model, which you see down below, and the eight gigabit model, which you see up top. You will see right now at the settings that we were getting on the 10 gigabit model, I'm making about 32 cents profit, which this is actually matches hashrate.no because they don't have the results for the secret BIOS. Let me show you what it looks like when I put the 8 gigabit numbers in on the secret BIOS. You will see that we go from 31 cents profit to 42 cents profit, which essentially is 20-ish percent more profitability from the 8 gigabit model over the 10 and actually makes it makes the 170 HX more profitable than the 4090 and makes it currently the most profitable GPU to mine with which isn't saying something but it is still the case where in this current market it is the most profitable GPU and considering it costs less than a third of the price of a 4090 that's pretty impressive. Now the final one I want to go over is triple mining. So we're just going to use Pyre, uh, Pyram hash. So we're using Ironfish, Husat, and Zill. And you can essentially see right here on the 8 gigabit model, you're getting about 124 mega hash. To, plus you get about 2.1 giga hash on Husat. And I made a video on this and I'll link it down below why I think in the proper environment, which right now as it is about 100 degrees outside it is currently not the pro the correct environment but triple mining can be the most profitable way to mine on a 170 hx and you will see that the 10 gigabit model gets about 1.17 giga hash on husat and about 95 mega hash on iron at 196 watts versus about 250 watts on the 8 gigabit and if you check the efficiency numbers on the 8 gigabit model you'll see we're getting about Five five hundred on fish, and about say eight point four on pyram hash. You can see right here, and then if we compare it to the ten gigabit model, you can see that we're getting about four point nine two kilohash on iron, and then we're getting about eight point seven on pyram. So again, the ten gigabit model in terms of efficiency actually slightly, ever so slightly, outperforms the eight gigabit model, but due to the difference in hash rate just like you saw on iron and i'm not going to use the calculator on this one because you can just plug in you can plug in these numbers right there because they'll be the same you're looking at about a 20 percent profit difference and basically for every algorithm besides kapow that's about what you see is about a 20 percent profit difference across the board all right guys so that's it for this video i really appreciate you guys watching my final thoughts are that on average you're getting about 20 percent or 20 to 25% less performance 
using the stock 10 gigabit BIOS it versus the secret the secret 8 gigabit BIOS on the 170HX 8 gigabit model. If they were both stock BIOSes, I would say that the 10 gigabit one would give you better performance, but they're not stock BIOSes. You're comparing the secret BIOS to the stock, and as far as I'm aware, there is no BIOS for the 10 gigabit models. My recommendation is, if given the choice between an 8 gigabit model or a 10 gigabit model, you will always buy the 8 gigabit model, unless you can get the 10 gigabit model for about, I want to say 25% less. Profitability is about 25% eh, difference. So if you can get it for about that, I think it would be worth it. But I doubt you will because nobody will sell a 10 gigabit model cheaper than an 8. They don't They don't care about the secret BIOS because it doesn't make a difference to them. Even though it's a mining card and I think it should. Because I actually told my seller, I said, hey, if you give me a you know a 25% refund on the 10 gigabit model, I'll just keep it. You don't have to send it back. And she said that it actually cost, I think it was like 50 to 60 bucks more than the 8 gigabit model. So she just said to send it back, which I got to give her props. She did a great job. It was resolved in about an hour. She's from China, so communication isn't the fastest, but it got resolved pretty fast and I will be sending it back in a few days. I will keep you guys updated and let you know when I get the replacement. But again, if the pro if you cannot get the 10 gigabit model for about 25% less than the 8, it's a hard pass. Thank you guys for watching. It just shows that BIOSes make all the difference and that the 170HX 8 gigabit is the undisputed champion of mining at this time. Now, if core algorithms make some kind of ETH-like resurgence, then maybe we won't be talking about that. But for price to performance, I really find it hard to find a better card than the 8 gigabit model. Or the 10 gigabit is a crew pass unless you get a good price. The 8 gigabit is a crew buy. So thanks again for watching this comparison video. And please like and hit that sub button so I can give you more interesting content. And if you want 170HXs, Look at the link down below. Highly recommend the seller. Uh, you know, we, we have a pretty good working relationship together. And if you buy from her, get a small commission. And it helps me out with the channel. So thanks again for watching. Please like and subscribe. Crew Man, out.